in the industrial commercial real estate world, I feel like there's really two properties inside of one segment. One is the smaller office warehouse, and one is the larger, heavier distribution product. With distribution, what I see really driving activity, the buildings that, that lease and sell quickly, they have truck loading and they have lots of yard area. Large tenants that occupy these buildings have to have 18-wheeler loading and typically need a lot of yard to stack pipe, store equipment, that kind of thing. What I see really driving activity um, with industrial real estate is dock high loading, lots of yard area, so the tenant or the owner occupant can, can store stuff on the yard, having a high eave height, which is 24 feet or higher, and having the right percentage of office to warehouse. Typically that's about, your, your office space should be about 10 to 15 percent of the total building. Whether you're a developer and you're thinking about building, constructing um, some industrial real estate space, or you're an owner-occupant that's looking to buy a warehouse to use um, for their business, I think it's really important to have a handle on what the market's looking for um, with this type of product. It's important for that owner-occupant to understand what we're talking about here because they have to always have an exit strategy. At some point, they're going to discontinue using the property for their own business and they need to know how the market's gonna to react to it.